The IRS scandal is not just about the $4 million party. It all started with the disturbing news that the IRS has been targeting conservative groups. And this week, conservative groups finally getting their turn, telling Congress about the IRS putting a giant target on their backs. I'm not here as a serf or a vassal. I'm not begging my lords for mercy. I'm a born free American woman, wife, mother, and citizen. And I'm telling my government that you've forgotten your place. In March of 2012, uh, the confidential portions of our 990 tax returns, including Schedule B, which is our list of major donors and their home addresses, uh, appeared on the website of the Human Rights Campaign, our principal political opponent in the nationwide fight over traditional marriage. Uh, the, the, the copy of our tax returns and our list of donors uh, that was posted there was redacted. Uh, our computer forensic people were able to unlayer the redactions from that PDF file and discovered that the original document that was posted there had originated from within the IRS. Let's stop this charade of pretending that these are social welfare organizations um, and admit that they are political, treat them as such, and play by the same rules that everybody on the committee plays for when we're involved in politics. Representative Blumenauer, uh, it's your kind of statements that have, have empowered IRS agents to make determinations about which organizations qualify for the public good and which do not. In order to raise money, I filed an application with the IRS in January of 2011, seeking to obtain 501c3 status as an educational organization. As of today, I've been waiting for 29 months without status. In the interim, I lost a $30,000 launch grant from a reputable nonprofit whose executive director advised me that he had never seen such treatment of a 501c3 applicant in his 25 years of making grants. I am totally outraged by the accusation that we are somehow subsidized by the taxpayers. Uh, people making donations to the C4 organization, that is not a tax deductible amount. We are not getting any money from the taxpayers. What we're saying is, hey, if we want to have a group and people pay dues or make a donation that at the end of the year or whatever that we're not subject to then pay taxes on that money again, which has already been taxed when the person earned it to begin with. So this is a real outrage to imply that somehow we're taking money from starving children to fund our groups. Republicans were looking for a conspiracy where there isn't one. Mr. Issa says he can feel it in his gut that someone's broken the law. Let's not forget, this happened under an IRS commissioner appointed by George Bush and was investigated by a Republican inspector general. What happened to you was unfair, but it was a mistake. Well, well welcome to Washington. Washington. The committee will be in order. Uh, Ryan has the time. We heard Gingrich, we heard Bush. Mr. Chairman. We had the former IRS commissioner, Shulman, who knew about the political targeting long before Congress was told since implied that the organizations were responsible for the targeting because they chose to apply for tax exempt status. So you're to blame, I guess, is the message here. My personal favorite was question number 33, which in relation to protests asked for a listing of our, quote, committed violations of local ordinances, breaches of public order or arrests, then requested details on how we conduct or promote illegal activities. I think the IRS needs to fix its labeling machine. We're the San Fernando Valley Patriots, not Occupy Oakland. You have proof that the IRS, an individual or a group of individuals of the IRS committed a felony. You have proof to this and nothing has occurred to seek or find justice. Is that correct? That's correct. Most stunningly, on May 3rd of this year, uh, in, in, in follow-up to a Privacy Act request where we asked for the specific information that federal law allows us to request when there's been an investigation into the disclosure of our tax returns. Uh, the Inspector General's office told us that the identity of the source of this felony against us was itself protected tax return information that they could not disclose to us. I ask you to think about the irony of that. This was not an accident. This is a willful act of intimidation to discourage a point of view. What the government did to our little group in Wetumpka, Alabama is un-American.